Reveal Nation. Today we're going to talk about kickboxing, just a few extra tips, some things that we see going wrong with kicking the bag and uh, a few ways to alleviate them. Um, one is getting cuts on the top of your feet. Why does this happen? It's mainly just the friction caused by the foot coming up on the bag a little bit. Remember we want the, the shin coming into the bag and we want to go in straight into the bag. If it's going up at a little angle, even if it's just a little angle, over time you're going to wear that top layer of skin off. Uh, why it's not going straight into the bag is because our hips aren't getting around. If my hips are square through the bag, I can kick through the bag. If my hips are stuck towards the bag or even 45 five degrees, I can't get that shin to turn over. My hips are here, I'm going to hit the side of the bag or I'm going to be kicking off and I'm going to be sitting in my butt, not using my hips for power. Remember, all of our power is in our core, in our hips. Um, one of the biggest ways to help get the hips all the way around is just adjusting our stance a little bit. So if the bag was straight in front of me, where I'm jab crossing right in the middle of the bag, all I would want to do is take six or eight inch step to the right. We're doing right rounds. I don't want to turn towards the bag, I just want to keep my stance straight ahead. That way when I pivot and turn, I can get my hips all the way through. Once you get the balance down and the timing down, you can stay in the middle and you can still get your hips all the way through the bag. Um, remember our round is derived, the power is derived from our knee driving up towards the bag, not from on the back foot, swinging the baseball bat. We want to drive the knee up. As we drive the knee up, the hardest thing for people is that foot. We want to get that plant foot to turn. So if I'm doing a right round, my right knee is going to come up. That left foot is going to turn towards where I want to kick. That's going to help my hips spin over. So if I'm doing a right round on the bag, I'll do a couple different angles. I'm going to drive that knee up. Foot's going to pop over. I can extend my leg and extend my hip. I want to squeeze my glute and I want to twist my hips through to deliver all that power from the midsection, from the hips, from the core, all the way through to that shin. I want to snap it all out as I snap my hips straight, snap my legs straight. We can't do that if that foot is stuck forward. You can't get those hips over. So one thing to work on, move, move the stance just a little bit. So if I'm straight here, just move to the side a little bit. And as I drive, that knee up, all the power's in here, pulling that knee up towards where I want to kick, that foot, that pivot foot should be able to turn. The hardest part is just going to be the balance, that, that if it's the left plant foot, the left glute's going to have to help balance, my upper body is going to fall away a little bit, because where I don't want to be is sitting in my hips. So if I'm going to do a left round, pivot a little bit, I don't want to lean forward and just kick with the leg. I want to extend my hips, I want to lean back, my upper body's that counterbalance. That way I can keep twisting the hips through. So as the knee drives up, I twist. What I don't want to do is leave my butt sticking out. I want to extend my leg and then extend the hip. That's going to get all the power, you're going to feel your core tighten up, you're going to feel your glutes work, you'll get your hips all the way through. And again, if you get the hips turned over, kick it straight to the bag, and you're not going to have problems hitting your feet. You're not going to have problems uh, with your feet rubbing the wrong way. And you're going to get the most out of that roundhouse exercise. So really focus on driving the knee up. Just think if, if you were standing here and you had to kick me, you wouldn't want to get on that back foot and then try swing. I would just take a step back. So think of the fastest way, driving the knee up and then letting that rest of the body just twist. So let that back hand stay back, let those hips come through, and use your whole body for that round. Get more out of that round. There's not one person here that does a perfect round, me included. So hopefully you can use these couple tips to adjust a few things. Just go slow, don't go too fast, you get tired, then we kind of throw form out the window. So just take your time and work on setting up, moving your stance a little bit, pivoting that foot, dropping that upper body back, and getting that hip all the way through. That's just a few little tips on the round. Give it a shot this week. Try and prove one thing at a time 
and those rounds will start feeling a lot more comfortable you get a lot more pop and feel a lot different muscles the next day any other questions just grab one of us before or after class we're happy to help have a great day